fucking security. Nah, 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 nah. Nico, we had zero intentions of filming here. We're eating our pastries, enjoying some fine hipster coffee, and this guy comes up and scolds us. Am I exaggerating? Nope. Preemptively says, hey, no cameras here. I don't want you filming. And we said we had didn't want to film here at all, but he insisted on being a dick and he refused to give Nico a knuckle pound. So that's what he gets. That's what he gets. Today, we're gonna do a little minor tour of LA. We're gonna see the city through my eyes. What's going right, what's going wrong. We're gonna revisit the homeless problem and also look into the devastation of the current gas situation. Hey, I'm sorry about that, man. This is serious. Yeah. You don't got enough for me, you should stop right now. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I got no. my coffee now, I apologize. No, We're out of okay. here, we're leaving. It's okay, I'm talking about you, I see you at the camera. Wait, Quit fucking around with us, Neeks. What are you doing? Sorry, my people coming now. You and I are cool though, right, man? No, no my folks coming right now. You don't got no camera. Just, just put it out right now. Just want me to assume the position. Give you my hands. If you want to cuff me up right now, I ain't gonna resist. Danny, there's like five people coming. Alright, shit. I'm gonna have to hop the side of the balcony, Nico. Can you fend for yourself up here? Nope. We might have to scatter like insects here in a second. Alright, Nico. Scatter! Get what you want, you don't want it. If I give you the moon, Me, Danny Mullen, master of disguise, has flipped my hat backwards and put on sunglasses. It's a lot of fucking security guards. What's gonna happen? Is one of the baristas gonna make a cappuccino with real dairy? Is somebody gonna bring in a dog on a leash that isn't purebred? What kind of crises could possibly unfold at this yup fest? Right. Nico, why do you have to bring everything down? It is a yuppified area around here, but I'm gonna prove to you. I'm gonna prove to you that there's more than meets the eye. It's the 7-Eleven. Good spot to buy a Fody, a pack of smokes. How's it going, darling? Oh, y'all feel me? Oh yeah, baby. Oh my God. You live in the neighborhood? Uh, in the area. Me too. Uh, that makes us neighbors. We don't need to overthink it. You drink, baby? Yeah. You like malt liquor? Mm -hmm. How about I buy you something to drink right now? Okay. Hey, you want a 40 too while I'm at it? A 40? Yeah. Good, man. I'm going to bring a 40 over there and you're going to put the contents in your face. How's it going, man? You want a drink too? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I got you, man. 40's on Papa Mullen. What's your name, dude? My name's Ivan. Ivan? Yeah, one of the children of God. I like your swagger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm a child of God, too. I do songs about God, that's why, so. Well, let's hear one. Uh. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly. No, 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 I'm, I'm gonna say this. Must the Lord, children, believe to trust in the Lord's Savior. All the bad spiritual behavior. Believe all in the child's behavior. It's who the increase the God has paid me. Jesus drank wine, Ivan drinks 40s. <laughs> Jesus fucks hookers, oh, I've been fucked shorties. I give it to you straight in the parking lot of Sev. 11. I'm going straight to heaven. Uh, yeah. Was that whack or was that cool, Ivan? It was alright, it was alright. Ivan, I'm about to buy you alcohol. Tell me it was awesome. It was awesome! Yeah! How's it going, baby? We're doing a little neighborhood tour today. And I'm gonna be straight with you. The vagrants who are loitering in your parking lot I'm about to feed him liquor. Ivan, you motherfucker. Mother lover, you mean. Mother lover. Enjoy, Enjoy the OE, baby. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, I called your bluff. It's party time. Oh, thanks. Uh, come on, dude. OE? You too good for it? Are you the dishwasher? That's a tradition for dishwashers to do their job drunk. No, 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 thanks. I'm a veteran of this industry. That's for you. What? Quiere cerveza. Quiere cerveza. He speaks no. English, Nico. Why was that necessary? No, I don't like that shit. Okay, well, let me just see if anybody the guys out front here. Got good news for you? This Sunday, free old English 40s rolling out of the kitchen. That's a bargain you're not going to find at any ceviche spot in town, I tell you. Of course. Enjoy, baby. Don't think I forgot about you, baby. Where do we park? Oh, yeah. Wait. What's up? All right, I'm gonna come clean about this. We work for Old English. Oh, that is sick. This is a guerrilla marketing campaign we're doing right now. We gotta hit the streets. 
We gotta raise awareness about hold the product. On, hold on, hold on. I gotta fucking put you on camera. Any publicity I can get. Any publicity I can get. Hold on. You work for OE and you guys are sent to pass out old English to yeah. homeless people? In as many words, yes. And you think that's okay? Well, it's a tough market out there. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the Dow Jones, the S&P, but in down times, you need down ass motherfuckers to do so whatever is necessary. Like, Y'all white asses on the street giving out fucking OE. Did it just get racial? Did you see my white yes, ass? Yes, 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 because I don't see you out here giving OE to any underprivileged white people out here. There That's was fucking disgusting. There was a Latino woman in and there. Use, was it a white woman? Did you give any malt liquor to white people on these fucking yeah, streets? That's not cool, bro. Can you guys not? I don't want this to get back to OE. It is. This is a bad look for us. We work for Old English. I'm gonna lose my job. I'm gonna lose my job. It's a cushy marketing gig. I, I appreciate it. I mean, you would have bought me some water too, though, right? Yeah. No, you sure? You sure? We just made a mess. He's got essential. Just know that's just trash. And don't come over here doing that bullshit. Every time I see your ass, I'm gonna be on your fucking ass. You need to go to Beverly Hills with that bullshit and pass out malt liquor to them fucking white people. Pass out meth to your fucking people. I'll do it. I'm gonna pass out malt liquor in Beverly Hills. I'll show you how it's done. I'll redeem myself before the day is through. Hey, we have our struggles too. My shampoo conditioner was dry today. My hair is sticky. My cappuccino machine, it broke. The Bluetooth in my Lexus wouldn't connect. You're welcome, Ivan. You're welcome, dude. Well. You never know what to expect, do you, Nico? Hey everybody, it's Danny from the future. Me and this little number are gonna cause some mischief later in the video, but right now, I wanted to tell you about adamandeve.com. That's right, they're sponsoring my ass. I'm gonna give it to you straight. They sell love-making enhancements. Before I got this thing from Adam and Eve, she was gonna leave me for a guy named DeQuavis. It's true, people. If you're in college and you're single or you got a girlfriend, it couldn't hurt to visit Adam and Eve. And right now, if you click on the link below and use the code Danny, you get 50% off one item and free shipping anywhere inside the US and Canada. Some exclusions apply. This is a fantastic deal. They're supporting me, so please check them out. When you get what you want, you don't want you get Welcome to my neighborhood. I'm gonna show you around. Since recently we've had an influx of both innovative architects and real estate development dollars. The result, beauty. Beauty in many shapes and forms. For example, this modernist flat roofed gem designed by Mark S. Partridge. Notice the emphasis on function over ornament. The dominance of glass on the front facade. This is any thinking person's California dream home. Behold, this pristine 1973 Bounder RV. The owner is one Mark Renfro, formerly of Appleton, Wisconsin, a social studies teacher who had to leave his post in disgrace after being caught with child pornography. You smell that, Nico? Smells like tradition to me. Behind me, we have a Spanish colonial style house, complete with red tile roofing and clean stucco walls. The house was owned by the estate of Charlie Chaplin until 2015. This lodging belongs to Tim Matthews, a former factory worker who succumbed to the power of his lord, methamphetamine. After taking a muscle shot of some janky shit he picked up on Bonnie Bray, voices told him to spread the contents of a trash can all over the sidewalk. He's been living with the consequences ever since. I don't remember what gas was at the last time we shot a video like this, but it certainly wasn't one penny away from $7. Here I am at one of the most expensive gas stations in Los Angeles. Causes of this, runaway inflation, and also one of our nation's biggest oil providers is being a little naughty right now. So, the result? We got gas priced like it's caviar. Hey, how's it going, man? Gum. 
And can I get 20 bucks on pump 11 too? Does the fill up come with a rim job? <laughs> Should if you ask me. Here we go. Watch those numbers go up, Nico. That right there, that is a digital rendition of me getting bent over. You know that lovely woman we met earlier who said, what was it? Uh, fuck white people? Oh, yes. Well, she also said that I should distribute alcoholic beverages in Beverly Hills, you know, with my own people. There are still plenty of expensive gas stations around here, Nico. So maybe if the people are paying these ridiculous prices for unleaded, they deserve a little bonus with their gas. Excuse miss. Martinis? It's gonna be difficult to get anybody to bite on this. Excuse me, sir. To compliment these astronomical gas prices, we're handing out Grey Goose Martinis today. Oh, I insist. Two and a half ounces. Two and a half ounces, Nico? Yep. The former bartender? I'm more of a do it by feel kind of guy myself. You sure, sir? Shake it up, fresh for you. Grey Goose. This is legit. What's up, man? Five a sip. Sir, do you own the station? Yes, sir. How can I help you? Uh, I'm thinking about giving one of these kids his first drink. No, I'm kidding. With the price of gas so high right now, I thought, I got you, man. I know. You're a good kid. You're going to go on to an Ivy League. It's Beverly Hills, after all. I thought. <laughs> hey, kid. That was good. Take some advice. You've already got it made. If you kids just stay off drugs, the world is your oyster. You got to drink some good Russian and Armenian vodka. Is that where it's at? Hell uh, yeah. Oh, this is French. great, Goose. It's French. Come on, dude. Right. This isn't plastic right. bottle. I brought the good stuff to your station. I thought uh, a little Grey Goose vodka martini for the people. Help people out. Good for you. Good do you actually you. own this place? I don't. Okay. Just like you're acting. I was, gonna, I was gonna say this. You are unbelievably cool if you were in fact the owner, sir. Can I interest you in a vodka martini? Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna insist you drink some Grey Goose right here. You are pregnant. Well, congratulations on the baby. Thank you. And. I'm going to assume this is your husband's ride. Congratulations to him, too. Is it yours? Wow, baby. Sugar, you really made it. Hey, man, listen, I know you're just a customer, but since you slandered Grey Goose, please take a sip. I will do, brother. Is that what you did for me, your bartender? You like that? Love it. It's a damn fine martini. Well, since none of the customers are really biting, except for that guy. No, 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 Vodka no, martini? No. Listen, Louise, Grey Goose, it's Grey Goose. I'm working. Grey Goose gives you wings, you'll work better. The manager said, yeah, okay, tell, uh, tell the manager to come tell me to my face. I'll give him an uppercut and a knee to the bread basket. I'll whack this bottle over his head. I'm helping people out. Have you seen prices? I'm just telling you what the, what the policy is, what the manager What's said. The policy? Harold, they don't want you filming listen, the this is my business partner. We're afraid attorney the people as well, so. and my attorney, and, I mean, J.D., listen, Cornell Law. I don't care about none of the attorneys and none of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm from the I'm, hood. I'm, I'm from the East Hollywood hood. hood. He's from East Hollywood. South Central. He's good. So it don't mean nothing. They call me I'm just Spartan. telling you, but they call me Wino. All right. Yeah. Wino. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to my hood, Yeah, homie. welcome to my hood. All right. Your yeah. hood's out here, yeah. homie. I don't I'm care about none of that. Me, homeboy. I'm just telling you, I don't care about no attorney or none of that shit, man. All I'm right. just telling you what my what the manager said. Me and Sparky, we run shit. That's all I'm saying. Y'all don't run nothing, man. Hell yeah, we do. Y'all don't cash run nothing, night, man. Me and Sparky, we cruise South Central looking for Crips. Come on, man, y'all. Yeah, well, yeah, you looking? You, look, you got one right here. You got a Crip right here? Last Crip I encountered, I gave him a California smiley. Okay. Me and Sparky, we put his jaw right on the curb and stomped it. Punk ass motherfucker. You winning? You trying to gang bang with me, homeboy? How are the uh, scratchers doing today? Better than the gas station. Yeah, fuck this place. Excuse me, ladies, I regret to inform you this European vehicles only at this fill station. What was that? <laughs> Unless you accept a swig of my vodka martini. What the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> Here you go, baby. Thank you. Mmm, tasty. Good. Good. You see, people? Is it good? It's good. Listen, it's I don't good. need YouTube. Comedy, <laughs> vlogging, I can be an effing bartender in Manhattan or in Beverly Hills and make a damn fine living.
My girlfriend Mia now lives with me, she's home, and we're gonna roll in on her. She might be undressed, or worse, she might be without makeup. Listen. What? Listen. What? We need to talk. About what? About, I've got nothing, I'm sorry. You scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you walking around with pointy shoes? These are nice. my work shoes. You look like a cross between a hooker and a pimp. Why are you hating? I'm joking, you look what sexy. Fucking mismatched socks. They're actually both Puma. One is just for when you're trying to be inconspicuous. Dried cum on your pants? That is lotion that I use to lubricate my masturbation. The cum all went into the wastebasket. Uh, a little bit. Mia just moved in. She's womifying the whole place. This is a couch she bought. Who's not allowed on it? I'm gonna say this right now, people. This is an official announcement. Mudflap and Fan Jerry are not allowed to sleep on this couch. Ian, can we get some breaking news graphics? Breaking news! No Mudflap, no Jerry on this couch. Why, Mia? Mudflap leaves a residue wherever he sits from, so... So what you're saying is Mudflap is less man and more slug. The theme of this video has been, I guess, um, dichotomies. Rich, poor, safe, dangerous, and there's a nearby park. You wanna go to the hobo? I wanna go to the hobo camp. Because where people used to throw footballs and walk their purebred dogs, there are now bums cooking up meth. Before we go to the park, can I please encourage you guys to like the video and to subscribe to the channel? We put in a lot of hard work on this channel and that would really help us out. Also, if you've liked this more mellow tour of LA style video, I got good news. I do a full LA vlog every other week on my Patreon in addition to two other pieces of content every week. So if you're not getting enough here on the main channel, check out Patreon. Me and I, when we come to this park, we usually have a plush blanket and all sorts of modern comforts. Because today we've seen the darker side of Los Angeles, I felt more comfortable with a cardboard box. If you're watching this video right now, I'm probably on spring break. Nico and Ian are divvying up the editing, working 16 hour days in air conditioning, in windowless rooms, in shackles in some cases, Mia. Because bathroom breaks, they cut into my bottom line. Got to keep these fuckers noses to the grindstone. But you and I, on the other hand, can enjoy our time. Oh my god! All right, Mia, get ready, cause I make a damn fine martini. This doesn't seem very comfy. Get on the cardboard box, baby. Somebody told me today, quote, "Fuck white people." All right. Okay. We have to remind ourselves of our privilege. Technically, I don't even fuck a white person because you're Asian. Fuck seventy-five percent of me. Put a fucking olive in here. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> now it's an extra dirty. This is gonna be disgusting, Nico. You're petting my dog. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there's nothing good about it's that. Exaggeration. No, try that. I don't wanna eat it, no. <laughs> We're endorsed by an olive company. That's what this is. Come on. <laughs> Everybody who had a boner just lost it when he did that. This is, this is so disgusting. That's not much exaggeration then. All right, well, let's go find that homeless guy real quick. So here we have a beautiful mid-century modern. You can tell by how the tent is suspended from the ficus and the palm tree provides shade. Oh, hell, I'm done bullshitting about real estate. All I want to prove today is that I don't favor any one race or socioeconomic class. I will give booze to a homeless black man and I will give vodka to a rich white person in Beverly Hills. It makes no difference to me. Whether you live in one of the Dutch ones, the modern ones, the Spanish ones, or you live in this fucking thingy in the park, I will come by with a bottle of goose and I will deposit it as a gift. All right? Well, excuse me, anybody home? Doesn't seem to be. Drug-induced nap, I think, is the most likely scenario. I'm gonna walk over here, though, and I'm gonna leave this. So ask yourself, audience, Nico, the girl who said fuck white people, am I really such a bad guy? <laughs>